DJI just launched the highly anticipated DJI Neo. Now I've had the opportunity to play around with this drone for the last couple of days. So in this video, I'm going to break down exactly what the DJI Neo is capable of, who I think this drone is for and whether you should be buying it or not. Now, right off the bat, before we dive into this video, I want to address two burning questions that everybody has had about the DJI Neo leading up to the release of this drone. The first one being, is the DJI Neo capable of FPV? And the answer to that luckily is a yes. The DJI Neo is compatible with all of DJI's FPV products, which we will dive into later on in this video when we talk about all the different ways that you can use DJI Neo. And the second question has been, does the DJI Neo replace my more traditional, smaller Cinewoop style drones if I'm a professional FPV pilot? And the answer to that is a resounding no. This is a professional tool meant to be used by professionals. This takes a lot more skill to fly than this. And traditionally you mount an action camera on top of this drone to get better image quality. The DJI Neo is a drone meant for beginners and should be treated as such, even if it is capable of FPV flight. All right, so let's kick things off by unboxing the DJI Neo. And honestly, this is going to be a pretty quick unboxing because there's really not much in this box. So let's start off with the accessories box that you usually get. And we're just gonna tear this open. So you have some extra propellers in here, along with something else in there, which looks like some screws for the propellers themselves. There should be another propeller in here, same thing. So you get two spare propellers, as well as a cable and a screwdriver to get those propellers on. And finally, the last thing you get is the DJI Neo drone. So there's no controller or anything in this unboxing. This is literally just the drone combo. And according to DJI, this will retail for 200 US dollars in America when it comes out. And this is the exact drone and full packaging that you're gonna get. So you get a gimbal guard on the DJI Neo, which you can just clip and take off like this, revealing the camera underneath. And then under the drone, you just have the sticker that says, please charge for the first time before you actually try and activate. And yeah, that's it. That's the full unboxing of the DJI Neo. Now, in terms of camera specs, the DJI Neo shoots at 4K at 30 frames per second. And if you want to slow things down, you can bump that down to 1080 to shoot in 60 frames per second. There's no log profile and the image is 8-bit. On paper, it's not the most impressive camera, but it's not meant to be because this drone is aimed at beginners. And the expectation is, is that most beginners will not be messing around with manual camera controls or trying to color grade their footage. The DJI Neo doesn't have any front, rear, top, or side sensors. There's only sensors on the bottom side, which are used for landing. There's also bumpers on this drone, and it has a crazy low weight of 135 grand. Trust me, I've crashed this drone a bunch of times into myself and into other objects. It's literally not a danger to anybody, which is why it's the perfect beginner drone and it has these completely sealed bumpers on to protect you from the propellers. And in terms of battery life, I've gotten about 10 to 15 minutes of usable battery life out of the DJI Neo, which honestly is pretty impressive for a drone of this size. And the battery really depends on what mode I'm using it, whether I'm using this as an FPV drone or a more traditional sort of vlogging style drone. Now, what's fascinating to me is all the different ways that you can use DJI Neo. And we're going to run through those now starting from the least complicated to the most complicated and this is the whole reason why DJI Neo comes without a controller because the first method to actually use this drone is without a controller at all. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to turn on the drone. If you've never used a DJI drone before it's really simple. All you do is short press and then long press until all the lights light up and then you should feel the propellers move a little bit and that's how the drone turns on. That's how you turn on every single DJI product that DJI has. So if you're new to DJI, that's how you turn on a DJI product. Next up, what's unique to DJI Neo is this indicator or panel up here with a button. Now what this panel does is that it houses or has an icon for all the different modes that DJI Neo is capable of doing without a controller. So by default, it's set to follow me mode, but it has a bunch of other quick shots on there like circle, droney, rocket, helix, and all the other quick shots that you're used to. And you can simply swap between them by just pressing that mode button right there. And you are going to get an audio feedback telling you exactly what mode you end up in. Now, once you've selected what mode you want it's really simple to get the drone going all you do is you hold the mode button and it's going to start a countdown for you and then it's going to enter the specific mode that you selected so I'm actually gonna do a demonstration for you right here in my office and despite the lens that I'm using this is a pretty small room now you might think I'm insane for doing this 
but this is literally the only drone that I would ever do this with, not only because of the closed off propeller guards, which we've mentioned a bunch of times, the weight of this drone really makes it harmless and a danger to nobody. All right, so to start our demo, I'm just gonna simply put the drone in my palm. I'm gonna hold the mode button. So you'll notice that the countdown started. Now the drone is a little bit loud, but it's just floating here on its own, a little bit out of frame. So I'm just gonna move the camera over and you're gonna see that the drone is just floating here and it's actually tracking me right now. If I wanna land it, I simply just stick out my palm and the drone lands. And just like that, that's how you operate DJI Neo without a controller. Now with the exception of the follow me mode in the controllerless operation of the DJI Neo, so if you use anything like Circle, Rocket, or Droney, the drone is gonna come back to a starting spot and then you simply just stick out your hand and then the drone automatically lands. Now I'm obviously not gonna do this in here because there's not enough space, but just be careful if you use those automatic modes without a controller, because again, the DJI Neo doesn't have any sensors. So you just have to be mindful of your surroundings when using those other modes. Now there are two main disadvantages of using the DJI Neo without a controller. And you might've already thought of the first one and that's being, well, you can't control the drone. You're at the mercy of the software of the DJI Neo and hoping that it'll work as programmed in the follow me mode and the quick modes that are programmed. The other disadvantage that you have while not using a controller with the DJI Neo is that you're not able to change any of the camera settings. Now again, if you're a complete beginner and you don't care about learning how to change camera settings or how to fly a drone and you just want the drone to do all of the work for you, then this is the perfect mode for you and you can stop this video here. But if you wanna move on to the next level, let's do that right now. And luckily that next level you can do without buying any kind of additional gear and that's using your phone as your controller. And yes, this works with both iOS and Android and it's really simple to set up. So all you have to do is turn on the drone like we talked about before. So you short press and then you long press until the drone turns on and you wanna turn on the DJI app. In the DJI app, you simply tap on the connection guide at the bottom and you should see DJI Neo. You tap on that and you're gonna have a bunch of options that does kind of give away some of the other things we're gonna talk about in this video. But the one you wanna select is connect via a mobile device. And then simply you just follow the prompts and your phone should connect to the DJI Neo being its primary controller. Now, once you're connected to the app, the first thing you're gonna notice is that you have the same controls on the app that you would have on the drone without a controller. So you can access any of the other automatic quick modes simply by hitting the big green start button. However, However, you do get one additional mode from the drop down up here, which is manual control. So the way manual control works is that on my screen, the first thing I have to do is I have to take the drone off. So we're gonna do that right now. I'm gonna stick the drone out and I simply hold the take off button. And this will take make off. the DJI Neo take off. Now, hopefully the drone is not too loud and you can still hear me, but on my phone screen, I now have joysticks and a controller that I can use to control the drone. So I'm gonna do that right now to make the drone come down and it should enter frame momentarily so you can kind of see it and then i can move it left and then make it come forward or that's down i can make it come forward now obviously this is not a mode that i use very often but if you're new to drones and you don't want to buy a controller you can learn how to fly the drone just using your phone and simply like before i can just Landing. take out my palm and the drone should land, which I think is super cool. And I really like how intuitive DJI has made all this, connecting your phone to the drone as a controller and not making you buy an additional controller. So if you're someone that wants to learn how to fly the drone yourself, well, this is where you can stop the video. However, if you wanna take it once again to the next level, Let's do that right now. Now, moving on to what I call level three actually does require you to finally purchase an additional form of gear to operate DJI Neo. Now, the official name for this controller, I believe, is the DJI RCN3, but it's essentially just the remote control that you should be used to if you've flown DJI drones in the past. If this is your first drone, then this will be new to you. Now, the main advantage of this controller is that you obviously get physical joysticks instead of having to use what's on your screen. And your phone, which I've now clanked into this controller, using a USB-C to lightning cable, the box does come with both if you have an Android versus an iOS device, is that I'm now able to use my phone as the operating screen and not both the joysticks as well as the screen. And you'll understand why that's important in a second. So if I go down here and 
when I hit go fly, the controller is already connected to my DJI Neo. I'm able to have a ton more control now. So this is the screen that you would see if you flew any other DJI drone. And this lets you operate DJI Neo like any of the other DJI drones like the Mini, Air or Pro series. So this is a great stepping stone. I'm just gonna grab the Neo here. So this is a great stepping stone for you to learn how to fly a DJI drone on the DJI Neo if you want to eventually upgrade to a bigger and better drone later. Now the main advantage of this besides the physical joysticks is that you finally have manual camera controls. So I'll have a screen recording of this up on the screen, but if I tap on the auto button at the bottom and switch it to Pro, I'm now able to change my shutter speed my white balance as well as my ISO. The aperture is obviously fixed. And like I mentioned before, the highest quality that I can shoot in at is 4K at 30 frames per second. I also have access to other things like return to home via the GPS built in on the drone, as well as other additional camera tools like being able to change my, co my coding format, as well as activating a histogram and grid lines, which are things that I use all the time when filming. Now learning to use this does take a little bit more skill and a little bit more practice, but when you do get the hang of it, it's totally worth it and like I mentioned the skill is transferable to all of the other DJI drones so this is going to be the last on-camera demo that I'm doing because we are going to be moving on to the harder levels after this but just to show you guys how it works I can simply tap on my screen and similar to the other modes the drone will take off but now I'm actually using the joysticks on the controller to fly the drone and for me this is something that I'm way more used to and I can control this way better than I can the other modes. And the cool thing is, is that you can still stick your palm out and the drone will still land, which is just an amazing feature of the DJI Neo that I love because it's automatic and it's super friendly to beginners. Also, the drone is so harmless and so unassuming that Theo, my cat, who usually does freak out at drones, has been sitting here the whole time and he hasn't had any issues with the drone whatsoever. So as we've been doing, if you wanna learn how to fly a drone and set manual camera settings and get into the DJI ecosystem and learn how to fly DJI drones, well, you can stop here. But if you wanna to get to the next level, let's do that now. All right, so the next level is FPV, which is my personal favorite. And you do have a few controller options with the DJI Neo, like we talked about at the beginning of this video. And the first one is the DJI RC Motion 3. Now this is the controller that DJI created for beginner FPV pilots so that they could learn and get into it because real FPV is very intimidating, which we'll get to in a second. But essentially this acts like a Wii controller. So when you're flying, you simply hold this down to accelerate forward and you basically point this joystick in the air through your controllers to go where you wanna go. It's kind of hard to explain over camera, but once you experience it for yourself, it's really, really simple. And I think this is a great way for people to learn FPV because again, I crashed the DJI Neo a ton when flying it in FPV mode and it didn't end up hurting anybody because it's super light and all the props are guarded. And I think it's a great way to get into it. So if you wanna just get into FPV, this is where you can stop the video. But again, if you wanna take it to the final level, we're gonna do that right now. All right, finally, we are now at the final level of this video. This is the highest level of difficulty that you can operate DJI Neo at, and that's in full FPV mode. So you can flip this drone into full manual mode, just like the DJI Avada. And this lets you use the DJI FPV Controller 3 to fly the DJI Neo just like a real FPV drone, because honestly, that's what it is. Now we did mention at the beginning of this video that the camera quality is not out of this world. And I did get the opportunity to test the DJI Neo inside a closed arcade. Huge shout out to the folks at Game Time Social in Burlington. They really helped me out with this one, letting me use their space to fly the DJI Neo and really test it around. And honestly, I was really impressed with the image quality more so than I should have been. The camera is a little bit dimmer, so it's a little bit more difficult to see in a darker setting, but I was really impressed with the image. If I was a novice FPV pilot and somebody asked me to, to do an entry level fly through with the DJI Neo, I honestly wouldn't have any issues using the DJI Neo. And I think that you can actually produce a pretty good output from it. Now, just like the Avada and other DJI FPV products, you can film with all the stabilization features off on the DJI Neo and stabilize it later in Gyroflow, which is what I did for these clips to get a really good image out of the DJI Neo as an FP FPV using this controller in full manual mode is not easy 
and not something that a beginner can just pick up and start flying, which is why this is the final level of this video. I highly recommend that if you do wanna learn FPV, you watch some other videos. I have some on my channel. There are tons of other videos out there that do a much better job of explaining it than I do, but I highly recommend that you spend some time in a simulator to learn how to fly your drone with this controller, and you'll be really impressed with what the DJI Neo can pull off. And finally, if you've been asking yourself throughout this video, how do I actually record and get footage onto the DJI Neo? I'll be honest, I kind of forgot to mention it at the beginning of this video. There's built-in memory of about 25 gigs in here, so you don't actually need to buy a memory card to get started, which again is perfect for beginners. This drone is literally ready to fly out of the box and you have everything that you need. Okay, and that's it. That's my full breakdown of the DJI Neo, all the ways that you can use it and everything that it's capable of. Hopefully I didn't miss anything. I feel like I managed to cover everything, but just in case I did, I'll add some more additional inserts into this video somewhere if I did, or I'll leave a pinned comment below. If you have any questions about the DJI Neo, definitely leave a comment below. I'll try my best to get to it. But other than that, that's it for this video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it and I'll see you in the next one. And until then, keep creating.